what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome back to a second video of my retro FIFA week. Now yesterday, what I did was show you guys some FIFA 11 and FIFA 12 squads that I used to have. Uh, and of course, if you didn't see that and you'd like to see that and have a little bit of nostalgia, click the card in the top right corner. It will take you to yesterday's video. Or of course, just check back on my channel. Now, uh, we've moved on to the next FIFA in the list, which is FIFA 13. Uh, and this is where I really, really did have some pretty awesome teams. And um, this is what the menus look like. We've actually got 851k. I don't know how or why, but I feel like I should probably open a pack, don't you think? What packs are in the store? Are there any special packs? There are... No, they were just the upgrade packs. What about gold packs? Oh, we've got 25k packs. And I think they're unlimited, which is awesome. I'm just going to open one. Just want to see how the land lies. See if we can get anyone sick. Oh, and it's sort of spinny circle. Who do we get? Who do we get? Open a gold pack. Come on, give me that player. It used to pop up with a name. Rare gold player. Come on. Why is it taking so long? Is this, Did it really used to take... I didn't even see the name. I didn't see the name. Who did we get? Who did we get? Oh, we got Kadira. And we also got Ivanovic. Not the greatest players in the world, but we did get two players right there. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Players used to have formations on them as well. And you used to have to change the formation if you wanted to you know, actually use them and get full chemistry out of them, which is madness. That's crazy. So, let's go and show you some of my team, shall we? <clears throat> I mentioned that I couldn't fit this video into the end of yesterday's um, because I've got loads of squads and I wanted to not rush it. I wanted to take my time and show you the squads. This is my Bundesliga sweat team and oh my god, just take a look at it. <laughs> I'm loving it. We've got Neuer in goal and as you can see, he's got yellow or orange on his formation, which means he's not in the correct formation We've got a 4 3 one, two, Neuer, uh, where we should have a 4 one, two, one, two. So we would lose a little bit of chemistry there. Um, Pizcek back in the day, 86 pace. Santana with the 81 pace. Dante used to be a decent player as well. I used to really enjoy using him. Uh, he had that afro and everything. And look how low rated um, Alaba is. That's madness. I believe with the FIFA before this, he was actually like a silver player with really rubbish stats and stuff. So this is where he started coming into that Bayern Munich team and doing well. Uh, we've got uh, Luis Gustavo, who's always been a rock on the game. Uh, we've got Robin. Oh my God. 85 rated Kevin Prince Boateng. Jesus Christ, he looks amazing. I remember this guy being just insane on the game. What a player. And then that strike force, I mean, wipe the sweat off my forehead because that is an absolutely ridiculous one. We've got 70 rate, uh, 75 rated uh, S fine. Yep, um, the one which Bateson always loves so much. Look how dirty this guy looks, 90 pace. And he was just low rated and really sweaty and overpowered. And then we've got Marco Royce who used to be a striker. How much would you pay for a striker, Royce? The these days, four star skill moves, 90 pace, crazy stats, what a god, what an absolute sweaty team. Now these are all the teams I've got to show you today, we'll move on to the Serie A, I can't even remember what this is, oh my days, look at that, top right corner. We've got an Informe Barbo. Oh, snap. What does he look like? Yep, just as just as pacey, just as sweaty as he always has done. I seem to remember people playing this guy back at CDM because he had like 64 defending, which is crazy. But look at that Barbo, man. Oh, that is dirty. With an Inform Balotelli as well up front. 85 overall rated. Balotelli used to be one of those sweaty players as well. Mickley, Mickley. Oh, how I miss Mickley so much. Look at the stats on him for an 82 rated regular item. Oh my god. What This is bringing back so many awesome memories for me. I loved FIFA 13. I loved all of the old FIFAs. I still love FIFA to this day. Look at Pogba being low rated there. Lamella with five star skill moves and a team of the season item. That's not too shabby at all really, is it? Look at him. He's incredible, were not he? Robinho was still on the game doing really good things. Loads of pace on him. Good dribbling too. Was he five star skills? Of course he was. Robinho always is. And then Chiellini with one of the worst Chiellini pictures I've ever seen. 
So I was also a massive fan of using bronze, silver and gold players back in the day. I'm now known a little bit more for using my higher rated and sweatier gold players type thing. I tend to not really go back and use any of the bronzes anymore. This was their heyday in my opinion. Uh, FIFA 13 had some awesome bronzes and this English squad was just insane. I mean, everyone had pace, everyone was overpowered and this guy, Jordan Slew, I absolutely adored. And then we had Graben up front as well. I think I had an informed version of him at one point um, and it was just you would rock up against someone with this particular squad and you would just shred them absolutely shred them and the same can be said for the MLS that I had as well again it was another overpowered one loads of crazy pace at the back Opara used to be a bronze with 81 pace over overpowered as anything Mac Kanji was just one of my favorite bronzes ever he was so like OP six foot four or something uh, and then up front we had this little gem Paulo Arreo Jr., um, who just scored goal after goal for me. And he doesn't look that insane. He was just really, really good on the game. What a squad. Let's move on to the next one. Now, what should I show you? Brasilva. Now, I think we'll wait on the Brasilva. We've done these two. Do we go BPL or do we... Yeah, we'll go BPL. This is what I was rocking back in the day in the BPL. Oh, my God. Oh my god, just look at that. <laughs> We've got some insane players in this club, guys. Um, on the bench, oh, there's probably some players that we shouldn't be showing you because they'll be coming up later on. But uh, we've got an informal man of the match, Ivanovic. He was sick. 88 defending, 88 heading. Uh, we've got Yaya. Team of the season, Fellaini. I remember him being a boss. Look at those stats. He's nearly 80 plus in every category. And he's 6 foot 4. Madness. Uh, ben Arthur's got an inform. Again, 5 star skill moves. Not quite as good as the one from the previous FIFA. But still pretty insane. Uh, we've got that Arsenal central attacking midfield. Team of the season, Santi Cazorla. 4 star skill, 5 star weak foot. And the the stats are just insane as well. We've even got a Ben Teke having a team of the season now. Can you imagine that uh, in this particular year? Probably not. He can't hit the he can't hit a barn door really, can he? Let's face it. Um, but back in the day, he had a really good season for Aston Villa and got himself this insane card. Uh, followed by a 91 rated. Oh, Liverpool Luis Suarez. This right here would, uh, yeah, I can't even imagine how much certain Liverpool fans that I know would pay to get one of these on FIFA 16 because look at him. Just look at him. Absolutely insane. Probably the best striker in the entire planet right now. Scoring goals for fun. Uh, and I reckon he's going to have a way higher rated team of the season this year. I mean, let's face it, he's already up to like 95 in terms of special cards on FIFA 16. So that's how much that guy has improved. Now, I have to admit, this was probably one of my favourites uh, because Brazil was back in the day again. They were, I think because I was relatively new to Ultimate Team and like I was experiencing and experimenting with different things for like the first time, it was so much fun. Um, buying these silver players was just a joy. I mean, remember this guy, Jusile. Look at how it, like crazy those stats are for a silver player. And then my two strikers. Uh, well, let's let's not get to them yet because one we've got one we've got Marcial as a Vado at left back. He was a five star skiller, insane. Uh, then we've got Kelvin, another five star skiller, uh, and then we've got Jaja. Jaja was insane, man. Six foot three. He was slow as anything. But he was just a man mountain with skill moves that could absolutely ping a left-footed shot. Uh, and then we've got Tots Camillo. Uh, this guy was pretty good. Not my favourite because I love this guy. In form, Mike Onliete. I had to pay 1.7 million for this dude. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy for a silver in form. I don't think you would ever pay that nowadays for him. Um, but back in the day, this this was the cut. This was the guy to have. His badge even kind of looks like a smiley face. And I just remember, oh, I just I just so glad that I bought him. Really, what a guy to have in my generations. So only two squads left to show you now. This is uh, if you upgrade from the silver Brazil to the gold Brazil, or you know whatever you want to call it, the better Brazil. Uh, and this was pretty insane as well. We got some pretty decent players on the bench we've got ourselves an informed pato not bad i think they downgraded him to four star skill moves in fifa 13 which kind of sucked and um, but camillo's on there as well there's a wallison there's a wild wallison i don't know what he was not doing in my squad 
Oh, I should have put him into the Brasilvas, really, shouldn't I? Love this guy so very, very much. Uh, he was insane. But Brazil had everything. Dede was an amazing card. We've got El Elias. Is that Elias? Yeah, it is. Look at him. Low rated. Lots of stats. CDM version of David Luiz. That's not too shabby at all as well. Uh, and then an 85 rated Ronaldinho. Again, he'd been wiped down to 62 pace by that time. Um, but still a 5 star skiller with these insane dribbling, shooting, passing. What a god. And you obviously have to have one in your ultimate team. Neymar used to be a striker, uh, five-star skill moves, 91 pace and dribbling, really, really amazing. Of course, that's the Barca version. He did have a Santos version as well, I believe, and then we put in our mic on Liete again. So I've got one more squad to show you, and this one's very, very odd, um, because when you first look at it, you're going to think, Lasty, what the hell are you doing? Yep, because Ibra's at CDM. We've got uh, Sergio Busquets at uh, Striker. What am I doing? Um, but th there was a trick to this. This was a way to get like pretty much full chemistry. And then what I would do is just change things around in game. So I believe straight away, yeah, Ibra and Busquets would change in game. Because once you're in game, you wouldn't have lost any chemistry or anything. So Busquets goes CDM, which is perfect for him. Ibra goes up front. I believe I swapped Neymar and Ronaldo so that Ronaldo was up front. Neymar being on the left wing. Um, it's like I knew he was going to be a winger uh, in years to come. Messi stays at Cam, I believe. I believe I sub off Pastore for Gonalons. And then that's how the team plays. So those three changes make this team rock solid. You go in, you've got these three centre-backs. Look at Sacco. Look at Sacco. Oh my god, I would pay for one of those these days. Um, then you'd have Gonalons and you'd have Sergio Busquets, who was insane as well back in the day. Five-star skiller out here on the right. Five-star skiller there. Messi at Cam, who's just about as good as it ever gets. Uh, and then we got Ibra, of course, with five-star skill moves up front. He was overpowered as anything. And then a five-star skiller, Cristiano Ronaldo. So this team was just so versatile. This is what I would use if I was just having fun, trying to really, really just enjoy myself score loads of goals it was a, an absolute mountain of a team and I really did enjoy using it so that's my FIFA 13 again I think I've overrun by crazy amounts we're way over 10 minutes um but that's why I didn't want to fit it into yesterday's episode because we've got so many teams to show you and uh, I know I've done videos like this before but it's a trip down memory lane I think we should do that every now and again um and there's been loads of you subscribed to me since I ever did you know do a, a, a FIFA 13 club tour so uh we've done FIFA 11 FIFA for 12 they were yesterday's video click the link in the top corner if you do want to go and check that out this is fifa 13 you know what the next couple of days are going to be don't you fifa 14 and fifa 15 we're going to start to see some even more colorful items coming in and of course legends so i'll leave you with that thought and uh, we'll catch you tomorrow guys peace <laughs>